Hey, what's up guys? Riley Chase here with Hostify. And in this video, I'm going to talk about CVE 2021-3156 and specifically how you can test and patch this vulnerability on Debian 9 Linux. Um, before I get started, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Tom Lawrence, who I follow on Twitter. He retweeted about this research and that's how it came up in my feed. And then also uh, Chris at Crosstalk Solutions tweeted about it. And so I started reading into it. I also had a conversation with Mike over at Magnus Box. He has a backup solution for MSPs and he's running a bunch of servers as well. And so the two of us were talking about it and um, trying to figure out how to test and patch our servers. Um, you know, luckily for him, actually, we, we figured out how to run the test and everything and uh, check for the exploit. And um, he his server's not vulnerable, but my servers are vulnerable. I have over 1,300 servers that we're managing here at Hostify. Um, for our customers, like I said, running Debian 9 Linux and hosting the Unify and UNMS applications. And so um, as part of our service for our customers, we are always staying on top of security updates and underlying operating system patches and all the different components that are behind these applications like Mongo database and Java and all those kind of things. Uh, we're always paying attention to that stuff. And so, um, yeah, in this video, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. If you have a Debian 9 Linux server, if you're hosted by a customer, don't worry about it. We're going to take care of it for you. And um, uh, also, I just want to kind of clarify like what the vulnerability is, whatnot. Um, very low risk for our customers. Um, we actually don't even have sudo installed on almost any of the servers, only a few servers where um, some customers have SSH access as a lower privilege user, like Unify or UNMS is the username. And um, we've given, we've installed the sudo program just on those servers so that they can do sudo reboot and reboot their server. So like literally a very small subset of our servers are even affected. And also to mention, um, this is a security research team that published this. Um, they did a great job um, finding out this vulnerability that's been, um, it's been in existence for over 10 years now. It's very important that, um, that this is patched. However, um, you know, they were nice enough not to release an exploit for it. So it's not being openly exploited you would have to have a lower privilege user to use this exploit anyways uh, to begin with. So um, just to kind of clarify, if you have other questions, reach out to me, but um, it's it's really not uh, a big risk for our customers. But um, that said, we're, we're right on top of uh, security research and patching, super important. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my server. You can see I have uh, two different logins here. One is for the lower privilege UNMS user and one's for the regular root user. With this uh, exploit, if I if I had the exploit or if I knew how to write the exploit, I could potentially um, upgrade my privileges from UNMS user to the root user, which is not good. So but anyways, I'm gonna log in as the, um, the root user and you can see it says auto pushing login request to phone. That's because we actually have duo two-factor authentication on all of our servers. So when we log in via SSH, we have to prove it on our phone. And um, that's just another level of security that we have here. But um, basically, uh, if we do sudo dash v, you'll be able to see your version of your um, of your sudo program. And you can see 1.18.19p.p1. Or if I do uh, apt-get install sudo, that's going to show me that sudo is already the newest version, 1.18.19p1-2.1, blah, 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 deb9u2. So just remember that last part, deb9u2, because we're going to come over here and take a look at so over here i'm taking a look at the security tracker at debian.org and you can see they've listed the versions that are vulnerable and 1.18 blah, blah blah deb 9u2 this is a vulnerable version but there's a release uh deb 9u3 which fixed the vulnerability and um stretch by the way is the code name for debian 9 linux so um we can see we're on the vulnerable version and there's one other test i want to show you um that you should run sudo edit dash s forward slash. This is coming from the Qualys Research blog post. And if we run this, we get this output, sudo edit, is, uh, not a regular file. And so um, what Qualys told us is uh, if we run this test and the error output starts with sudo edit, then you're vulnerable. Otherwise, if the output starts with usage, then you're not vulnerable. So this is a vulnerable server right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do to fix this is do app dash get install sudo dash y. And um, it's gonna tell me actually that it's already the newest version. So in order to get the new version, we have to first do apt get update, whoops, dash Y. This is gonna update the repositories so that Debian knows there's actually a newer version of sudo available. 
and that went ahead and completed. And now I'm going to do sudo apt get, or no, I'm not sudo. I'm going to do, because I'm already root, apt get install sudo dash y. And this is downloading that new version. Remember we said 9u2 is vulnerable, 9u3 is fixed. If you go ahead and do this uh, test again, sudo edit dash s forward slash, now you can see the output is usage. So um, going back to that tweet that I put out here, and this is coming from the, the Qualys research, um, they said if the system's patched, it's gonna respond with an error output that says usage. And so, um, so we've patched our system and we are no longer vulnerable. So that's the end of the video. I uh, hope that helps you to test and patch your Debian 9 Linux server with this vulnerability. If you'd like to connect with me or if you have any questions about, um, you know, testing, patching this stuff, hit me up on Twitter. I'm at underscore R chase underscore. You can DM me and I'll be happy to help. Um, also, if you'd like to learn more about my business, head over to hostify.net. And um, if you have a Unify or UNMS cloud server, we'd love to manage it for you. Take care of stuff like this. Make sure you're following best security practices, keeping your server up to date. And um, yeah, just supporting you and your team as you um, deploy these networks. Um, thanks for watching. See you.